Now casting. Here at Soul Garden, we are looking for two things, knowledge and personality. Now, now casting. casting. Are you a crystal expert? Do you know astrology? Do you know romance? Do you see dead people? Do you know numerology? Now casting. Are you a psychic? Do you know tarot, psychiatry, ancient masters, yoga, astronomy? In a nutshell, I'm looking for experts and talented practitioners who can help our viewers Soul Garden grow. Now casting, email me. I'm Jackie Shakta, Director of Casting at SoulGarden.tv. Hello, humanitarian, and welcome now to Monday. Well, cloudy nesting and resting today for the Aquarians, even though we just had a weekend in the United States, the moon in Taurus, definitely pulling your emotions into your root chakra, how well you ground yourself. Now, in practical reality, this translates into home, family situations, roommate situations, and at the essence, you nurturing you. In essence, let me just lay it out for you. Jupiter and the moon, Jupiter for the next year, all basically retransplanting Aquarius is into a new foundation, a new soul garden. And you are scheduled to do quite well in 2012, but before you get there, you've got to plant yourself. So today, your emotions are reflecting on just how well you are planted. And Jupiter in the next 10 days is promising a breakthrough or breakdown somewhere around the home family unit or with your self-nurturing, but a breakthrough around the corner. So although something might break down, Jupiter will be right there with a box of Kleenex. Now the sun. In chapter one of Sun and Cancer, we went through our first breakdown over the weekend. Today we are breaking through. Today Mercury rules the day. It's time to kind of understand what's not working. Now for you, it is in your daily life. And you might be putting the two together as far as your daily reality and your self-nurturing because it is your soul. They are connected, right? But you're working really on two separate states of consciousness. One, the self-nurturing state. The other, reality itself and how one leads to the other. So this week, there's a powerful healing, a solar eclipse in Cancer between Thursday and Friday. This is going to allow you to heal either an issue with your body, so if you're having any kind of health issue, this is your meditation week. Let me tell you, we got a dose of this uh, spirit medicine a year ago around the 4th of July as well. So you might roll back the clocks to your last July a year ago, how you felt, how you felt by the end of Cancer because we had a nice solar eclipse. This one will take up where that left off. So it is kind of on countdown this week and things might fall apart which reveal what needs to be healed or things might start getting healing start healing right away like my mouth and my ability to speak goddess please heal this either way uh, you will experience a solar eclipse as soon as you are open to it that's one thing about solar eclipse it's plus or minus four days on either side of the event now here to help out is Julie Zepper with meditation vibration today she's gonna give you an emotional compass and this is super important for helping you understand your emotions, stand in your emotions, and therefore nurture your emotions. Really helps you. You can't be a good nurture to yourself if you're not clear on how you feel. And remember, aquas auto-detach all the time. I meet Aquariuses who aren't sure how they feel about things most of the time. So let Julie help you today. She's live everywhere the garden streams. All right, my Aquarian, that's all I have for today, but I'm back tomorrow with more. Live, love, be. So